What's up guys, Blasters101 here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you today how to make a improved version of the simple TNT cannon, which looks like this. For this creation, you will need 15 blocks of your choice, 8 dispensers, 15 redstone, 1 water bucket, 4 redstone repeaters, 1 stone half slab, and 1 button. Okay, so the advantages of this one compared to that one is this one, it's still semi-auto, which means if you button mash it, it's going to self-detonate, so you just don't do that. Basically, you can store as much TNT as you like in here without having to do refills, pretty much. Uh, uh, you could just like, uh, like nine slots of 64 for this thing. Um, so, you know, look at how many times you can shoot with that thing, you know, it's like... Yeah, I'm rubbish at math, so I'm just gonna say like I don't know, 400, 600, something like that. That's how many TNT you'll be able to shoot probably without having to reload. Um, right. Uh, so basically, what we've got here is uh, same same design here, the repeaters, except instead of putting the TNT uh, in here like you would do, you uh you like you don't need to it's all in here so these all these dispensers will put it out and then this dispenser will put it out onto here uh so i'll show you right now so you wait till it's done its cycle and it's sh and it's fired and you can press it again you see it just makes holes everywhere which as an advantage because say you could you could do that while loading up another weapon uh, like a, a like a really long range one or you can fire this one on like your airship or something and see they'll just fire that one but basically what you, the you have to fill this one up manually don't you so you know it, not, not the best of things really and for some reason this one has better range I, I, I don't know. I, last time I tested this, didn't I? I had like. Uh, I had five repeaters on and it worked better than having. Okay, let me try it. I think the ranges are different. Alright, I'll go at this one. Let's see where that one goes. Yeah, the ranges on this one is a little bit more. So, yeah, this one's have increased range, better accuracy because of the way the, the, that lands on there. Uh, and uh, the sh the shock uh, of the explosion, like it gets, like to the target in in a better way. Oh damn it! I lost my uh, grid of where I was gonna make it. OCD moment, right? I had it set up like this is like the measurement. All right, that's gonna be the middle. Oh, right. beep! I don't have any grass, do I? I'll get rid of that. All right. Um. So I'm just gonna keep my eye on that part there. Uh, game, yeah, mode zero. Yeah. So to make it, you do the the three uh, iron across the back, just three iron blocks like this, and then down one side like this. On both sides, you do it like that, so it looks kind of like a C. If you're looking, and then from then onwards, you stand on. You go. You look at the right side. You stand on the right side of the sea from this end, and you look forwards. And then you place the dispensers. Um, if you if you don't look this way, they won't get placed properly, and it will be derpy. Okay. And then you just want to go on the other side. Just pr place all your uh, blocks up to this point here, like that. And then you want to place the remaining two on next to the dispensers, like that. So 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 far, you should have those really. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna put the uh, redstone on. So just the uh, three at the back, and then on the left side with the dispensers, you wanna put them over the top. But to do this, you need to hold shift and right-click on top of the dispensers. Because if you don't hold shift, you're just gonna open the dispenser. So remember to hold shift uh, over top of the dispenser and then place the redstone. There we go. Um, and that's pretty much that side done. And over here, you want to sort out your uh, redstone repeaters. So you want to place all four of them in a line facing forwards, the long ways of the cannon, like this. Otherwise, it won't work. You need to place all of them like this, and then you want to click all of them until the the little notch thingy goes to the back. <laughs> notch, no pun intended. Right, you want to click all those until that goes right to the back there, just like this. You want to do that for all of them, and it should look like that. 
Okay, and then what you want to do is uh, place the final um, dispenser. Uh, you want, what you want to do is on the on the you want to like jump into the middle and have your back against this bit that's, that looks up, so it kind of looks like a a chair sort of thing that you're sat in. And you want to uh, you just want to place it like that. So that should be that way. These should be this way, and those should be in line with each other. And the redstone pieces should all be ticked back. All this is in the right place. All those are uh, got uh, redstone over them. All right, and then what you want to do is at the end, uh, you know, stone slab. Just just put that in the gap between here, just on the ground, uh, like we did on the other design, uh, like just there. Okay. Uh, and now what you want to do is with the remaining redstone, just connect it up until it reaches the dis the dispenser like that from the end of the repeater. There you go. And then you're gonna want to put a button on it. And uh, now it's for the water, so you just place the water here at the back and it runs all the way down the length of the cannon. And that is actually the cannon done. Um, but uh, to fire it you need to right click on all these dispensers. Uh, be careful you're not right clicking on the repeaters, so it's probably best if you stand this way and do it. So you can just put TNT in all of them. Um, this like You need a minimum of 8 TNT per shot. Uh, but feel free to load this thing up completely to the maximum of it because it is a very strong cannon. Uh, the fact that you, like the reloads are so short and that uh, it's like a semi-auto thing, you know, it's pretty cool and you can customize the ranges and everything. Uh, this is by far one of the best single shot um, customizable range cannons. Right, and so that's that. But uh, just gonna spawn in some more TNT. I'm doing this on a single player map so uh, I should really be doing this on uh, a server to be honest but I can't be bothered to switch all up that rubbish. Alright so I'm just gonna put these in here like that. Oh, that. Make sure you don't do that because that could end badly. Just try not to skip one. Right. But well, right, okay, let's, uh, let's go. Wait wait till uh, it's fired and then press the button again because if you keep doing it it's gonna like explode. And so you could just keep firing this thing. That's such a huge ammo capacity, it's unreal. One of these guys, I was Blasters on one. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, TNT cannon tutorial helped you and improved your old base model like this. So please leave a like and subscribe. Bye guys. For this creation. God dang it, I suck at that. I always trip on that line. For this creation, you're going to need 15 blocks of.